So this is my bike setup that I use for All Points North and I'm just gonna take you through how it was set up, everything I used for it and everything I took with me. So let's go and have a little look at the setup first. So I'm just gonna show you the lighting setup because there was a lot of riding in the dark as you saw. So I actually use a dynamo light. So the dynamo is in the hub there and the cables run all the way up inside my fork and then into the back of Exposure Revo. It is an amazing, amazing light. And yeah, as a backup, I had the Exposure Trace. I actually use that as like a little torch if I need to go to the toilet and it's dark. That light setup actually feeds through into a rear light. So you can see the cable all the way back there and then it goes to an Exposure Red Eye. So as long as I was pedaling, that light was on. And then also as a, a backup rear light, I had the Exposure Blaze, which is just another phenomenal light. The battery's really good on it. And yeah, that was just hooked on the back of my tail fin. GPS unit that I had was a Garmin Edge 1030 Plus. Amazing battery life, just a really, really good unit. I think I could have done like maybe two thirds of it on one battery charge. So yeah, really good, reliable. Then the trusty quad lock. I love having this on long rides because it means that your phone can just attach there. But yeah, I had that on there for changing podcasts, audiobooks, um, music, and also checking my list of like food stops that were coming up. So that was really handy to have on there. And these are the shocks, bone conducting headphones that I used on the ride. Top shoe bag, this is a restrap one. This is a new addition. Really good bag, got double zip, and it's got little pockets on the side. I kept a little lip balm in there. Food into that. Also, as you saw, I've not cleaned this bike since, uh, as you can probably tell. Uh, this was uh, GRX, absolutely love it. 4630 on the front, just really good for all those hills. And now what you've probably all clicked on this video for is what I actually took with me. And I carried everything in this Tailfin Aero Pack. It is my go-to for doing anything really long distance where I need to carry a fair bit of stuff with me. The reason that I really like it is because it's basically like it's not unlimited but you can get so much in it it's waterproof so it means that you can carry it as much as you want with you so for me I like carried extra food I had everything that I would possibly need in that one bag and it doesn't sway it stays like firm when you're climbing that's the thing because there was so much climbing I didn't want a, like a bag that was going to swing around and annoy me so it just stays solid in place how it actually works is so basically you replace your either quick release or your um, through axle on the rear of your bike with the tail fin one and it's got like, these little extra edges on either side which is where the rack actually sits so this will fit on any bike any frame and depending on what size through axle you've got they've got like adapter kits and then the clips just clip on to the extra little thread on there and then it just fits around your seat post. It's like just a really clever but simple like um, strap that goes round. You just clip it on and you're good to go. Clothing, toiletries, repair kit, electricals, and then just some extra food. First thing, clothing. You'll see from this picture that I had a jersey, I had an insulated gilet, I think I had arm warmers, shorts, leg warmers, and my shoes. So the extra things that I took um, were, as always, a Patagonia, this is Patagonia Micro Puff hoodie. Um, and it's incredible, it's super warm, it's synthetic, um, it's not down, it's synthetic, um, so it's fine if it gets wet. I took two pairs of gloves, so I had mitts and like long finger gloves, over socks, and they've got like, they're raffle ones and they've got like a reflective thing, so in the dark, Anything that had the reflective, I was like, just use it. You can also see that, actually, you probably can't see it. I bought some reflective tape and just basically put it all over my bike and actually on the tail fin rack at the bottom, just so any extra visibility. So yeah, they're the leg warmers that I took. They are Costelli Nanoflex. They are my favorite leg warmers. Took a Rafa Gore rain jacket, which you saw me wearing. Valatoes. They actually worked to a point, uh, but they were just a bit of a pain to get on and off. This was like the high-vis harness that you actually get in the um, pack for All Points North. And it's from Monkey C. I bought these en route, my marigolds. They actually worked really, really well. So happy I got those. Shimano S-Fire arm warmers. They're my favorite arm warmers because they're really, really thin, light, but warm. The tool kit. This is actually, when I looked at it, I was like, it's quite a lot of stuff, but because it was a thousand, 1100 kilometers, I didn't want to have 
any kind of mechanical that I couldn't fix. So I took three inner tubes with me. Some people might be like, oh, three is a little bit overkill, but I thought for the weight of one extra tube and potentially if I get two flats and I, I can't repair one of them or the valve goes, it's gonna take me a lot longer to find a bike shop um, to buy another one to replace. So I just thought I'll just take three just to be safe. Topeak um, race rocket pump, really good pump. Topeak uh, multi-tool, really good multi-tool and it's got a chain breaker. Make sure you've got um, a chain breaker tool on whichever you've got. These are restrap uh, tire boots. Chain lube, so I've got like a little mini um, squirt, which is um, basically the wax that I use. I also took like a little sachet of um, carbon gripper paste because my seat post is carbon. I didn't need it, but I remember on one 600K, a guy who I was riding with, his seat kept dropping and I did have a little sachet. I was like, okay. Um, and I gave that sachet to him. So I was like, always take one just in case. And then this is like my little tiny little bag of tricks. So in that I've got five or six patches, um, four split links, an ibuprofen, hay fever tablet, glue for the actual patches, and then a spare mech hanger, because you just don't know, and spare mech hangers, you need to have one with you, because if it breaks, there's no real, uh, you can't get them from a bike shop, it's very specific to your frame, so yeah, get one of those. Electricals. I didn't really need to charge stuff as I was going because I stayed at two different hotels so I could just recharge uh, my Garmin there. And yeah, like I say, that Garmin has got incredible battery life so I didn't really need to. A little foldable, like, charge, like plug. Um, a power pack, a cable which has got three ends on it. So it's got a USB, USB-C and an iPhone. Um, I also took a cable for um, my rear light, which is an exposure, which is a specific cable. So I took that. And then I also took as a backup um, an exposure strata light. For me, I just thought, oh, I, and I had three lights. I just didn't, because I knew I was going to do night riding. I just didn't want to be restricted if something happened or for whatever reason, something broke, but they are really reliable. I was just like, I just want to be, I, I just don't want anything to stop me getting around this event. My toiletries bag, a migraine tablet, a little tiny comb, hand sanitizer, biodegradable like wipes, toothbrush and sun cream. These are like like what they call water tablets so that if you needed to drink from a stream you could put them in and it would like make it safe drinking water. So I had a bag of dates in the front that I could get to all the time and then I had an extra bag in the back to kind of re-top that up. So the things that you didn't see, I took a load of cliff bars that I ate. I took bags of sweets, what else? I took a bag of bagels for the first night because it was gonna be through the night and I wasn't gonna get any like food stops. And that is why I really like the tail fin. You saw on one day that I pulled out a, a smoothie bottle from it. I think for me anyway, on these long rides, I always wanna make sure that I've got enough of everything. That I don't ever wanna feel like I'm riding. I'm like, I'm really hungry or really thirsty. So I just kind of, maybe overpack a little bit um, and, it, and it worked well. Also, I didn't tell you what was in that, the extra little pocket. It's ideal for, I'll show you what's in it. So these are things that I needed quite regularly, but not all the time. Chamois cream and electrolytes. And I've been a huge advocate of tail fin for quite a number of years now. I just think it's a really good piece of kit or equipment and it's really sturdy. I've used this on so many rides now and I love it. And I'm very, very grateful that they have sponsored this video. So thank you so much for Tailfin for one, just having like really good kit that allows you to go on these trips and adventures and not have to like, I don't know, like feel like you have to leave stuff at home. Do you know what I mean? Like, cause on my bag, I don't have room for a frame bag. I just don't want a frame bag because I take big bottles of water. So ideal to have that. And yeah, thank you to them. I'll leave all the links below if you want to go and have a look at it. And yeah, I will see you all next video. If there's anything that I've not mentioned or anything you've got any other questions about, leave it in the comments. And yeah, I will see you all next video. One last thing I forgot to mention that I took was a hip lock, Z lock, combination lock. It's like a, a steel zip tie. Didn't even need to use this because I always on long rides generally choose to go to garages where you don't really need to lock it outside but always take one just in case, especially for accommodation. If you can't take your bike in your room, always good just to have a lock just in case. The quick release or the, um, what are they called? Quick release or quick release skewer. What are they called? 
Don't judge me. I've just been looking at this bag of dates. And there's some sweets in the bottom, so I'm eating them. Dates and sweets last so well.